So we have a steel door to a restaurant. The door itself weighs at least 75 pounds, but that has nothing to do with the project at hand. We're going to transform this into a faux finish that matches the exterior of the restaurant. And we have to get it to conform to the general appearance of these slats of wood. Now, we're not going to make it horizontal. No. We're going to make the wood appear vertical. And we're going to mix and match the darkness and the light, the brown and the red together in one color and then introduce the black green effect that you see here. Now, is it going to match exactly? No, of course not. We're going to mimic the appearance of these knots and these colors. And then we're going to put a satin clear coat over it to stand up to the elements of cold, heat, the sun especially, and the rain. You want to scratch the surface, scuff it up, because it's too shiny, okay? So that the new paint sticks to it. And in that regard, we're going to be using a sanding disc to mar the surface so that the new paint sticks. After you have it sanded, just clean it off making sure that all of the debris is off. As you can see, we didn't do any damage to the door, but you see where it's dull there? That's a good amount of scuffing because our new paint surface is going to attach itself to this because of what we just did. Now you wanna get all of the residual dust off of the door. And if you don't think there's dust on a door like this, just take a look at your hand after you do it. Please get all of this off. So we're just going to roll it on. You can brush it on. I suggest rolling it though. Nice and easy. Now it's best to do this while the door is off of the frame. Look at all the time I save without having to mask hinges, fittings on the door. I just put it on the table and I can do it. Now, if you can do that too, I suggest that you do it. Uh, of course, you wouldn't be able to do this in the winter months since all painting requires a temperature of at least 50 degrees Fahrenheit from the time of the application to the time of the curing. So you have to decide what's best in your situation. Now, here's something a lot of people forget. The top and the bottom of the door should be sealed. Most people do not do it. But if you're a painter, you're aware of if moisture, either humidity or rain, enters the top or the bottom, it causes expansion in the door. You know when you open and close your wooden door and it doesn't shut when it's humid out? Well, one of the ways through which humidity and water enter your doorway is right here. This part and, the, and its sister part at the bottom. You want to seal these areas with paint and a clear sealer as well.
Because the door is subject to getting scuffed up, I'm going to touch it up after they put it up and then put the clear coat on. Now, I have to do a little touch up. You can see a little white marks they put on the door installing it. But let me just say something now. This door cannot look exactly like that panel or this one. You see the drastic difference in color shading from this one to this one? So we incorporated all of the colors and we put it in one. And that's what I was asked to do, to match it to the general color. Look how much, look at the color differentials there. We have four colors, one, two, three, 
down here we have this one right here. It's the fourth color. 